Can you imagine that a dream one had since childhood at once comes true? A car that seemed once unattainable finally really stands in your own garage. For Philip Blanc from Munich, it has become true. Persistence and a modicum of luck had helped that today he may call a DKW monster his own. This DKW Monza is a prototype, the vehicle which was built as the sixth and then was used at the record runs in 1956. These record rides took place at Monza. There the vehicle has driven six long distance world records. Due to this success, the name of the DKW Monza was created. After some race successes of the DKW Sonderklasse during the European Touring Race and some street rallies, the two racing drivers Günther Ahrens and Albrecht W. Mansell decided to build an extremely lightweight plastic body onto a chassis of a DKW F93. The first vehicle bodies, such as the record car, were built at Dannhauser and Strauss. The vehicle shown here is number 6 of 8 prototypes. The vehicle has a special feature. You can see it at the side window. It is square. The later vehicles had a round side window. The front edge has been round. This is the only vehicle that has a square side window and therefore is also the proof that it is the record vehicle. In addition, but this is not visible, it has a larger tank installed with approximately 70 liters volume, which was mounted for having a minimum of fuel stops during the record attempt. The later series vehicles had an approximately 40 liters tank. The record car was brought to the United States after the 1956 race victories. There he attended some races until 1960 and then with a sudden disappeared from the scene. The vehicle was found in the United States in a very sad state. It was relatively destroyed by a fire. Then it got transported to Europe five years ago and was rebuilt in Austria by a restoration company. From the outset, the goal was to put the vehicle back into the state and appearance it had during the record driving. It was built up entirely. It has the color of that time and also the interior was reconstructed exactly. Also the painting and the stickers were reconstructed as it was at that time. Such for example the ADAC sticker on the windscreen, the DKW sticker on the rear window that the vehicle had at the time in Monza. The initially called DKW Solitude received his current name Monza later on, after they recorded several speed record victories on the Italian circuit of Monza. During a 72-hour ride on the circuit of Monza, the racer Günther Ahrens, Heinz Meyer, Roberto Barbay and Georg Tyler gained five world records in the class G8 vehicles up to 1000 cubic. The history says it already. These trips were long haul races, and so this car has to be seen. For us, this vehicle is a collector's car, which we also like to drive out for various events. Otherwise, we will maintain it as good as possible and will show it to the public. If we speak today of a racing car, most people imagine a fast accelerating car. But this doesn't fit to the DKW Monster. 
even if he looks like it. He's built up for long hauling races and takes some time to speed up. Once he is rolling, he reaches with his 40 horsepower strong 3 cylinder 2 stroke engine with a capacity of 903 cubic, a top speed of about 140 kilometers an hour. A huge dream for me became true. When I was between 4 and 5 years old, I looked at my father's DKW book, because my dad himself had a DKW when he was a young man. There I tripped repeatedly over the DKW Monza. I've always followed up this vehicle, even though you never could see one live. With 14 years, I succeeded to buy an original brochure of the DKW Monza, which I still have. But then I never surrendered the opportunity to find such a vehicle. By coincidence, we have then discovered this vehicle in the Classic Car Show in Padua 2011. My father and I decided then to buy and restore it back to the state it is today. We can say a dream has come true. The restoration took about four years, but much of the time was used on organizing parts because many parts are no longer available or had to be reproduced. Specifically, the body, which was made of fiberglass, of course took a long time. The DKW Monza was the first German car with a fiberglass body. The DKW Monza is the first German car with a fiberglass body. The premiere of the car was on the DKW meeting, where we couldn't drive it much. But today we have made a proper virgin ride on the streets here in the district. It was a great time to experience the car. You can feel the technically great work behind it and how it's driving today. But it's real fun. The lightweight streamlined fiberglass copier body ensures low ensures low air resistance and a low weight of 733 kilograms.